Tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. Parenting There's no one else surprises. I would trust. With the you never know what to expect. So after our son was born...
All right, we're back. We had some problems getting Navarro's lineup, and so we were scrambling around to make sure we got it. Let's see, it looks like they'll have, holy cow. We're gonna start it off with Uzkatekwe? Uzkatekwe? Uzkatekwe. So we're gonna go with that. Tekwe, Tekwe. So on the, on the fly here, I'm trying to learn names. Let's see here. Ortega will bat second, as Larry said. Then we have number 15 batting third is Sanchez. We'll have, and that one, that is actually Shelly Sanchez. And then we have number 13, which is, hold that was Shelly up there. So we've got two Sanchez's back to back here. That's why I like it when coaches get you lineups, when you ask them to get you lineups. Who's Kotick Way? That's what we're going with as the leadoff hitter, number six. Who's Kotiki? Who's Kotiki? We finally got the coach to yell out of at us. Kotiki is the batter. And while I'm w watching the game, I'm going to be writing down names. Like I said, we got this very last minute, and we were not ready to roll. Tonight, as I didn't even get to look at uh, our roster yet because I was waiting on their roster. So it looks like we have Kate Espinosa on the hill. Foul ball down the first baseline. So start off with a good pitch. It goes foul. Once I get everybody's name on the scoreboard or our score page, we'll be ready to roll here. Softball practice. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Hudson. A little, called a little high. One and one is your count. Beautiful pitch. Count will go to one and two. There's a ground ball to second base. An easy play. Four three on the put out. Out number one. So the pitcher will come to try to help her own cause right now. The last game the Lady Lions played was a beautiful game to stay undefeated as they won 9-1 to over Anderson. Ground ball to short. Easy play. 6-3 on the putout. So Herrera, who's usually the pitcher tonight, is going to get me at short, which moves tomorrow to third. Tomorrow with a two-run homer and a grand slam in the last contest. Ooh, one and zero oh on the count. Ground ball to Herrera. She comes up, throws across her body, and the girl's safe as it was dropped at first base. That'll be an error on the first baseman. Number 13, Sally Sanchez, because the plate, their one run, one runner is on by air here in the top of the first inning, two outs. So one and knows the count. Oh. 
Got a foul tip, caught by the catcher, one and one. Oh, Espinoza just misses on that one. It looked good from up here. A little high. They're going to throw down to first. Oh, wow. Three and one is the count now. Fouls it off. Full count. And she'll take her base as she gets hit by the pitch. So one reaches on the air and one reaches by getting hit by the pitch. Brings up Rodriguez, the shortstop. Two outs, two people on. Starts out with a strike. <clears throat> Give a shout out to Rosie Bega, our QA tonight. She's back in the studio listening and watching to make sure everything sounds all right. 0-1 pitch is on the way, a little bit outside. One and one. A good pitch inside, making it one and two on the count. Oh, the coach makes the catch. So the count stays one and two. Two outs here, top of the first. <clears throat> Ground ball to the pitcher. She'll come up firing, and that'll end the inning. No runs on no hits, one air. And after half inning of play, no score. We're going to take a real quick break. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we are back. Bottom of the first. Lions will come to the plate with Vega, Escobedo, and Herrera. Ortega pitching for Navarro, a left-hander. Number one, Ava Vega. 
The good news was is that we did get the Austin School to show up on time. That was the first that I've encountered since calling home games. So going to have to wait on some pitches here. And So Vega will lead it off here, the left fielder. Wind is blowing from left to right, as you can see on your screen. Lady Lions still undefeated in district play. Ortega brings it to the plate. Ball one. Here comes the 1-0 count to Vega. Way outside, 2-0. Going to have to be patient today. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. And he'll call it a strike. If Shaq was the batter, it might have been a strike, but we'll go with it. Two and one. <laughs> Two one pitch to Vega. Three and one. And we're heading down to play our first base with a walk. Next up to bat, center fielder, number 10, Tori Escobedo. So center fielder Tori Escobedo will come to the plate. Runner on first, left-handed batter. You can possibly see some maybe moving the runner or just a flat-out steal. We'll see what we come up with. Corners are in. Fakes the bunt, steals second easily. One and O's the count. Two and O. Reno is the count. She was thinking about stealing third, decided not to. Now she's going to go. A wild throw back to the pitcher. Runner now on third for Escobedo with a 3 0 count. Let's see if he's giving her the green light at 3 0. Strike number one. And pass gets or ball gets past her, and she'll get to second. Next up to bat, shortstop number two, Leah Herrera. So Leah Herrera will come up with a runner at second base.
Dan will get to third easily. Oh, they throw it past the pitcher again and probably could have scored but decided not to go. <clears throat> One to nothing here in the bottom of the first. 2-0 is the count for the number three hitter, Herrera. Three and oh. And that's going to be ball four, and she's going to run home on it. And off to second, Leia goes, and she'll get there easily. That'll bring up third baseman Tamar Reyna, who hit two home runs in their last contest. That second ball still hasn't landed. One and knows the count. They're going to swipe third. Take is a little close to the a little close to the face on that one, two and oh. Two oh count, here it comes. There's a fly to left field. Left fielder's on it, misses it, and that'll score a run. And she'll stand up at third on an air to left field. And is she going to go? Yes. Now we're going to have some action. Nope. She scores. Now, if you're playing Pee Wee League baseball, that is what we call a home run. But today it's an air on left. It gets four bases on an air to left field. So four runs have scored here in the bottom of the first. Pereira, the catcher, is going to be the batter. And they come with a, with a strike on the first pitch. This is another young lady that could take it out of the park if given the right pitch. And there is a drive to right field. Right fielder is not going to make the play. She's on her way to third. She's going to go home. And she's going to get an inside the park home run. Mele Pereira with the inside the park homer. Good start at the bottom of the fifth, or bottom of the first of the five run, one hit, first inning so far. Headspeth the batter, playing right field tonight. Ball one is the first pitch. Again, QA tonight. Rosie Vega, thank you very much for what you do back in the studio. There's a line drive past the shortstop. And she'll stay with a single. <coughs> Real quick, give some a shout out to the sponsors that don't have. So for the people that don't have uh, commercials with us is the Pearl, Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westies. Runner at first, the pitcher, Espinoza, at to bat. Comes up with a strike on the first pitch.
0-2 is the count. Five to nothing is the score here in the bottom of the first. Runner at second. Espinoza with a hit to left field. The left fielder doesn't come up with it. Runner's going to go to third, the other one to second, and they're both safe. Now about a first baseman, number 15, Cecilia Cole. CC Toll, the first baseman, will come up now. Got a... Smith going in to run, it looks like. Ball. One and O's the count right now. Oh, fouls it off. One and one the count now. Two and one is your count. Again, five runs, three hits, two errors. And she'll walk her. So the left-handed hitter, Mackenzie Mendoza, will come to the plate. Second baseman. Bases loaded here. Five nothing. And they'll get a pass ball run scored. The runners will advance. <clears throat> Bunt is down. The throw to first, no way that's in time. Scores a run. Top of the order is going to come up now. Still no outs here in the top of the first. Vega will take the strike. She walked her first time up and stole second base. Runners at the corners. A little surprise they didn't steal with the girl at first. There's a ground ball. Third baseman comes up firing. Throws it over the first baseman's head. We'll get a run out of that one. And the runners will get to second and third. And that's as far as they're going to let them go. So eight runs have crossed the plate now. Here in the top of the first. Tori Escobedo, who walked and scored her on her last at bat. Left side of the plate. Runners in scoring position. 8-0 right now. <coughs> uh, 
One <clears> zero <throat> is the count. Two and one's the count, bottom of the first, no outs. I have runners at second and third for Escobedo. Three and one. Swing and a miss. Full count. And she gets hit by the pitch. Base is loaded. So Leah Herrera will come to the plate, our shortstop. Walked her first time up, scored a run. Fly ball to right field. Nobody's there. That's going to be a hit. Gets by the right fielder. She's on her way to third. And they're going to send her home. Play at the plate is not there. She gets an inside the park grand slam. So that'll bring up the third baseman tomorrow. Tomorrow, Raina, she's going to bat with the bases empty now. There's a fly ball. And they run into each other. She's going to reach first. Kind of hard to call that an error considering nobody touched it. <laughs> now batting, catcher, number 13, Malicia Pereira. So Pereira, who hit an inside the park homer her last at bat. I missed it, but they had uh, Tamar on purpose making out of first base. So there's one out here in the inning. 12 nothing, bottom of the first. Two and oh, the count. So three knows the count, 12 to nothing to score, nobody on base. As the Lady Lions have already sacrificed a runner at first to give them out number one. There's a fly ball to left field. She doesn't even see it. It's going to land right in front of her, and that's going to be a double. So that'll bring up Headsmith. Singled and scored a run. Now there's two outs as they're going to send Pereira to the dugout. Two outs.
So 101 is the count, two outs. So two and one is the count. Gotta make it three and one. And she will walk. And that will do it for the first inning as the Lions sacrifice their people again. So 12 runs. We had one, two, three hits. There were three errors, and nobody was left on. So after one complete inning of play, it is the Lady Lions 12, Navarro 0. We'll head to the uh, top of the second here in Lockhart. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Part Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Part Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Part Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimate. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County, 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. All right, we're back. So Gonzalez, the first baseman, she'll lead off. And I'm not sure what coach is doing. Seeing if we made any. So it looks like Vegas night is over. <clears throat> as Elizabeth Smith will be out there. So one knows the count to Espinoza. Swing and a miss, strike one.
Swing and a miss, strike two with a little breaking pitch there. Espinosa reached on an error by the left fielder and scored her on her last at bat. So Gonzalez goes down on strikes, brings up Rodriguez, the left fielder. A bunt goes foul. And she fouls it off. Strike number two. Swing and a miss on a changeup. 0 2 pitch. Luna comes up to catch her. Inside pitch, strike number one. Espinoza's livened it up here just a little bit here in the second inning. I will say out of five years of call calling softball here in Lockhart, I've seen some really good pitchers. They just keep reloading every year. And she'll get her looking, so she strikes out the side in the top of the second. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. We will, we will go ahead and take a break here. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's best oil change in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2019. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! 
For your plumbing service work in Caldwell County, call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Meitler Plumbing, a local and family business, has been in the Caldwell County area for over 30 years. Voted best plumber in Caldwell County multiple times. Holds a master's license and bonded. Call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service work at 512-398-3146. Owner Darren Meitler, a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for the Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a Lion, always a Lion. Okay, we're ready to go here as Kate Espinosa is going to be the batter to lead it off. Here's a pop fly in the infield. And the pitcher makes a catch, one out. Next up to bat, first base pitch, number 15, CC Toll. First baseman CC Toll walked her first time up, scored a run. It fouls the first pitch off. Strike number one. Give a shout out again to Rosie Bag in my QA tonight who's watching it back in the studio. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. Ortega with the 0-2 pitch. Fly ball right to Ortega again. And she's put both players out. <laughs> Mackenzie Mendoza, who singled and scored a run her first at bat. And she gets hit. <laughs> now left builder, number three, Elizabeth Smith. So Elizabeth Smith will be making her first appearance to the plate tonight as she took Ava Vegas spot in left field. Fly ball to left field. It's in play. Runners on her way to third. And she'll get there standing up. So a double to lead off here in the bottom of the earth. It's a double, so she'll get to second. And Mendoza gets to third. Brings up Tori Escobedo, the center fielder, who has walked, been hit by a pitch, and scored two runs. She has two people in scoring position. And she's going to get hit again. Bases loaded for Herrera. Oh, we've changed better. I guess tomorrow's not going to be hitting. So Olivia Delgado will come in to hit. Bases loaded, two outs for Miss Delgado. Mm -hmm. 
And nobody's moving. The only person moving was the runner on first. Two and zero goes the count. Again, the bases are loaded. Three and zero. And that'll be ball four, so we'll get one run out of the deal. Next up to bat, number 17, Zoe Pompa. Zoe Pompa coming up to bat. Swing and a miss. Uh -oh. Fly ball to left field. Left fielder's there. And she'll make the catch. So three outs to end the inning. So we have played two complete. The Lady Lions are on top, 13 to zero. And we will have the number nine hitter coming up for Navarro in the next inning. We're gonna go ahead and take a break here. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network fueled by Vibe Live. Central Texas Refuse LLC is a highly respected full service waste collection and recycling company serving Central Texas and the surrounding areas. CTR has proudly been servicing the cities of Round Rock, Cedar Park and Lockhart for decades. CTR is one of the largest independent waste collection service companies in Central Texas. Founded in 1981, CTR has grown through organic expansion and currently operates from four primary locations in Southeast East Austin, Round Rock, Lockhart, and from Wilco, a comprehensive single stream recycling facility in Williamson County. CTR is honored to be a sponsor of Lockhart High School Boys and Girls Sports. Go Lions! You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. All right, we're ready to roll here. That'll bring Cornejo to the plate. So one to nothing is the score, or one to nothing is the score. One and zero is the count. Thirteen to nothing is the score. One and one is the count now. Two and one is the count.
three and one. Ooh, got her with a strike there. Three and two. Kids are looking. She has now struck out four people in a row. The last two looking. Uzitakui <laughs> is the batter. She grounded out to second base her first time up. There's a line shot down the ground to first base, and she bobbles it. And uh, get on another air. So Ortega will come to the plate. She grounded out to short her first at bat. Fly ball to left field is going to get in there. So a single to left. Sophia Sanchez is the batter. <coughs> Sanchez reached on an error by the first baseman last time. There's a ground ball foul. High fly ball and foul territory makes the catch. Out number two. Now it's Shelly Sanchez. So runners at first and second, two outs here, top of the third. Try to get her at third. It gets through. They're going to try for the plate. And Panair. Woo, what a play. Nice job. So they get him gunned down at the plate. That'll go 5-2 on the out for out number three. No runs. One hit, one air, and only one left. So we'll go to the bottom of the third where the Lions are going to have to score two runs to get this to a run rule. 13 to nothing right now after two. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network fueled by Vibe Live. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family.
Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. All right, we're back here. <clears throat> Come to the bottom of the third. My pin is about to run out of ink, so I'm going to be almost scoreboardless. Thirteen nothing. Bottom of the third. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, shout out to Rosie Vega again. My QA. Um, she's been with me the last few nights. Tonight we're looking at a, a victory here. Last night we unfortunately saw the boys play their last soccer game of the year as they went up against a guy named Martinez who looked like Michael Jordan of soccer. He was amazing. About six three. Nothing but muscles and. Scored three goals on us last night, and I guarantee that kid's going to be playing on Saturdays in college soccer. <clears throat> so let's see who's going to be batting here in the bottom of the third. So Megan Ramsey will come up here. So Ortega coming up against Ramsey here. Outside ball one. Ball goes foul down the rough field line, making it one and two. So Ortega has the one and two count here in the bottom of the third on Ramsey. Full count. <laughs> Line drive to the shortstop. She comes up with it. And they get her at first. Out number one. So Bethany Ramirez will come to the plate. <coughs> Shortstop boots it. It'll be an error. Runner on first. So Kate Espinosa will come to the plate, has a 13-0 lead. She is the pitcher for tonight, has a one-hitter going. <coughs> Ramsey. 
Ramirez at first. She's on her way to second. That's right. Three and O's the count. Ramirez thought about going, decided not to. So she'll walk and get to first. Zenaida Tucker coming in as a pinch hitter. Runners at first and second. One out here in the bottom of the third. Give a real quick shout out to the Pearl, Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farms, and Westies. Oh, and one is the count with one out. Fly ball to left field, and she can't make it. And two runs could score on this right here. There's one, and there's two. A nice hit. They thought about sending her. She said, want me to go, and she just stops with a triple. That is the ball game. <clears throat> so that'll do it here for the Lady Lions as they will win 15 to nothing. So that'll do it here after three innings of play. Your Lady Lions will win 15 to nothing. <coughs> They will stay undefeated in the district play. Uh, we will have them again Tuesday night when they will be uh, at home Tuesday night. We'll cover that game for you. Um, an, again, another win, another run it undefeated here in district play for the Lady Lions. So real quickly, we're just going to kind of bust through here with the uh, Chuck Nash offensive players of the game, and that will go to – Tamara Reyna and Meli Pereira as they both crushed the ball. And whether they were counted as home runs or not, they were four baggers and they got their selves to the plate. So those are your Chuck Nash offensive def or offensive players of the game. And we're going to go to the pitching side of things once again. Got to go with Kate Espinoza as the Chani and Sons defensive player of the game. That'll do it here for us at Lion Country Broadcast Network. Again, the final score, 15 to nothing. The Lady Lions will win and stand defeated in district play. And uh, we'll be doing this again Tuesday night. Lady Lions softball, thank you for watching. Have a great evening.